is his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Now a handoff up the middle. Spencer, and he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. 76 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Spencer, and a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Packer first down. They'll run on first down. It's Spencer. Oh, he shifts past him, and he gets it down to the 32. Now, that was an excellent run, and when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block, but the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes, so when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Two yards, good enough for a first. Looking to throw. Rush. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. What a methodical drive this is turning out to be. That time, nine yards, and the sticks move again. Here's a first and ten at the 14-yard line. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Up the middle they go. Brinkley. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. On third down, they'll try and run for it on the draw. And the Packers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Sort of interesting going with a draw play there. Do you like that call? I don't, but it would be a lot more powerful coming from me if I'd said it before the play actually happened, if I had first guessed it. Touchdown! A great play there. His first touchdown on the year. And the Packers are an extra point away from drawing level. Extra point splits the uprights, and we are tied at 21. A pretty long drive that time, 11 plays all told. And the result, a Green Bay score. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. I don't know what this says about me, but I love successful runs up the middle when the blocking is so well executed like that. And it doesn't matter whether it's zone blocking, whether it's a power scheme, when you have a blocker on a defender and the running back can read it, find the proper hole, and just go, sometimes a thing of beauty. They get 14 there. First down, Vikings. From the gun, they'll try to run it. 
And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. They're going to look to throw, and that is incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Back to throw here. Got an open man finding Jefferson. And he is going to pick up the Vikings first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. So not only do they convert on fourth, but they pick up 22 yards in the process. So after the big play on fourth, here's first and 10. Now a handoff running through the middle. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. Back-to-back four-yard runs. Now, look, if they just do that all the way down, field ball ends up in the end zone, but that's a little difficult to do. Yeah, I think now third and two, that defense ready to stiffen up and stop that run. But he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Here's a give up the middle. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Hawkinson. Call it a gain of a yard, and it'll be fourth down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. So a response there to the touchdown of the opening drive of this third quarter as they're able to reclaim the lead. And I think he'll take that because obviously you'd like to be able to match him touchdown for touchdown, but the first order of business was to get the lead back, and they've done that. Now you want to give a good pep talk to your defense to take it from there. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He is knocking on the door for 100 yards in this ball game. And it's so important. It doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal, just short of it, a little bit over. A little bit over feels better to everyone. Offensive line, running back, team totals, just something magical about breaking that barrier. And he's right there on the doorstep now. Throwing again on second down. Rush. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. So back-to-back -back plays each get nothing. Third and seven now. That's a nice job defensively to make sure everyone was accounted for because ordinarily you pick up the guys downfield and sometimes you forget about the running back. In this case, they did not and dropped him for no gain. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football 
and knocked him down to force a fourth down. On now is the Packers punter. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. It's a return of five following a punt of 42 yards. And it will be Vikings ball first and 10. Now the Minnesota offense set to take over again. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly. And that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. And they'll keep leaning on the running game back to the ground. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave them with a third and about four more for a first. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. This is third and one, very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. They'll drop to throw, and that will be incomplete. Give them credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. Sensational effort from that distance, but rejected by the bar. All things considered, a pretty good kick. Just cruel punishment there to be denied by the crossbar. If you're going to hit from that distance, sometimes you're going to need a little luck. And unfortunately for him, this time the break goes against him. On first down, Brinkley. Room here to run. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 11 yards and a Green Bay Packer first down. Final minute now of the third quarter. On first and 10, Rush over the middle. That's caught by Taylor. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35.